try to film another tutorial again. I tried to film my tutorial for Sylveon, but then I lost track of time and I wasn't able to film the tutorial for the rest of it. And so this is going to be Taco from The Adventure Zone. Uh, I created my own design for him and I'm gonna separate the video into multiple parts because the boy's got a lot of accessories. So this tutorial is going to be for his base outfit, which is the shirt, the pants. We're starting with the pants. The pants is gonna be from this Simplicity Renaissance costume. Uh, it's for men though, so I cut out the pants as a size small, and then I'm going to modify it so that they're shorter because the pants go all the way down to my ankles, and that's not my design. And the three fabrics I'm using is a cotton, a chiffon, and a silk. Here's what the pieces look like before I modified them. And what I did was I just put them onto some dollar store craft paper, and I measured down to 13 inches, and then I cut it off from there and transferred the instructions. What I'm doing now is I'm pinning my pattern to each of the three fabrics and I'm going to be cutting two for each of the fabric pieces. So I finished cutting out all the pieces and what I've done is I have pinned the chiffon to the silk and I'm gonna sew around the edges so they can act as one piece and then I'm going to serge what I just sewed so it can be a permanent bond. You can probably just stop at stitching if you don't have a serger, but I have a serger and I am going to use it. All right, so you can see what I've done is I've stitched them all together. I decided not to serge just yet, actually, because in my design, there's going to be slits on either side of these that will show through the galaxy pattern underneath. So I'm going to do that first, then serge them, then put them together. First I have to make a pattern for the slit, and it's just going to be basically trial and error, but I'll show you the finished measurements when I'm done. This is the piece I made, so it's excuse me, 11 inches tall by 2 inches wide at its biggest point in the middle here. This is going to go and be cut out two times on the front piece and once, maybe twice, I'm thinking only once on the back piece just because I want to embroider something here on the very, very back. So I put the two front pieces together, uh, right sides together so you can see the back and I'm gonna sew along this curve and down here. That way, if I sew the front together, I'll have a better idea of where I want the slits to go. Uh, the pattern has me do something really weird with that, so once I actually figure that out, then I'll let you know. Alright, I figured it out, and it's actually surprisingly very simple. So you see, each side of the front pair of pants has a little square that flaps out over it. And so what you have to do is you have to fold the square over like this, and it'll say on the pattern where the fold line is, and then stitch only the bottom part like this. So I'll put a pin uh, that shows where you have to stitch it, just one second. All right, so this pin on the bottom is where you have to stitch it on both sides. And then when you finish that, you take the whole thing and flip it inwards so that it looks like that. And then you sew just this part right here. And I'll put another pin so you can see what I'm talking about. So where this black and white pin is, you'll sew that on either side. And then once you've done that, you overlap the left side out with the right side. And then you hand stitch down here. I hope that helped. I'm going to try and do that now. All right, 
So obviously what I did here, sewed the two front pieces together, sewed the two back pieces together, and then I went in and cut all of the slits. Now what I'm going to do is sew around each of the slits so that the organza doesn't move, and then I'm going to go in and sew bias tape around it so that it's finished. So what I have done here, after I got all the bias tape done, is I've sewed the pants together according to the instructions on the pattern. And now I just put the galaxy fabric inside my satin fabric and I'm going to baste stitch around the waist and around both of the legs. So that way when I'm sewing on the waistband and the little leg bands, the fabric isn't going to move and it's going to stay as one. Alright, everything is all basted together and something important to kind of note is that for the chiffon edges, I had to go burn them to keep them from fraying. I just held... come on, focus. Uh, I just held a lighter gently with a spray bottle nearby over the edge here until it just kind of melted so I didn't get any fraying because it was fraying really really bad. Here they are so far. They're looking pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna measure where the pants are gonna sit which is about right here with a measuring tape and then I'm gonna cut out a strip of the galaxy fabric. It's going to be about four inches wide and then the measurement of where these pants are going to sit and that's going to be my waistband and then I'm going to do the same thing where it sits on my legs and then that will be my leg band. Alright so this is my waistband. What I'm going to do is right sides together sew it down and turn it inside out and then this will leave us a little pocket to send my elastic through. I don't want to make it too fancy up top unlike the pattern says. I'm deviating from the pattern because I'm gonna have a corset that goes over the top so you're not gonna see it anyway. This is just a pretty basic waistband here and now using some purple thread that I found laying around I'm going to top stitch the part that doesn't have a seam so that that way it'll lay flat when I'm wearing it. So the part of the waistband that has the seam, the bottom part, I'm matching that up to the top of my pants and I'm going to pin and sew around. So that way when the waistband stays up it's going to be a nice seam. And I'm probably going to have to gather as I go because I made these pants big on purpose so they could have some pleats in them and look like those medieval jester pan. You can kind of see on the inside where I just randomly pleated. There's not really a method to it or anything. I tried to get it as even as I could, but also it's not going to matter that much because this is going to be under so many layers that you're not going to be able to really see it anyways. So I'm just going to do a straight stitch around here before I add in my elastic.
I'm just gonna sew up the pant legs just like I'm gonna do for the waistband and sew them on the exact same way. The only difference is that at the very end, I'm going to sew on some of this gold trim. And I've actually found that when creating the waistband and the little leg bands, it's easier to make them the width of the pants themselves and not the width of your leg, if that makes sense. Because in that way, when we thread through the elastic, it'll actually bunch up like a They have turned out surprisingly nice. All I'm gonna do now is take my elastic, measure this area where the pants lay, cut it two inches shorter than that so it cinches up, and then thread it on through. All right, here they are. All I did was sew together the elastics. I didn't even bother closing the back of the casing. If I have some time, I might go back and hand sew it, but it's so bunched up that you don't even notice it. So I don't think that will be an issue for me. These are the shorts, and now we're gonna work on the top. All right, now we're gonna move on to the shirt, and the shirt is fairly simple. This shirt I just bought from a thrift store for $5. All I'm gonna do to it is I'm gonna hand tack this portion here, so that way it doesn't show this underneath. And then I am going to taper the sleeve so that it scrunches around my arm, and I'm going to try to scrunch it to about my elbow. So then that way I'll have room to make the bracer. Here's what it looks like after it's all bunched up. I did close this one, um, unlike the pants, because you could see the elastic pretty bad, so I just did some hand stitches. If it'll focus. 
Oh, kinda, you can see the hand stitching. I'm just gonna do the same to the other side, and then my taco shirt is done. Here we go, taco shirt's done. Just using the same method as on the pants. Uh, this one's a little loose. I'm not too worried about that yet though. I can just go in and cinch up the elastic if I really want to. This is the arm that the bracer's gonna go on anyway, and so I just really needed this sleeve to be up to here. Uh, if I have enough time, then I'll go back in and fix this one. But overall, like, I'm pretty happy with it.